the straight music productions hey guys today i'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak ipod touch 2g running 3.1.2 firmware using snowbreeze the one just that just came out so i have a windows and i'm going to be opening snowbreeze the link will be provided in the video description so you, uh, snowbreeze will look like this and after you get Snowbreeze, what you have to do is you have to download something called Net Framework 3.5. You can Google it and you'll find it. After you find it and install it, and after you install it, just run Snowbreeze. And now I'm gonna run Snowbreeze. You'll get a message. Just click OK. And here you go. Snowbreeze like public beta. Public beta means because the export mode is not on because there's some bugs in it. So yep, yeah, click next. And um, after you click next you, next, you click on simple mode. As you, as you can see, expert is disabled and simple is activated. So you, after you click on it, click next. And now you browse your browser 3.1.2 IPSW file. Wait for it to verify and then click the next arrow. So now I'm going to browse mine. Um, if you mind, just give me a, about two to three seconds just to connect my external hard drive to browse my firmware. Thank you. So yeah, um, are you, uh, I'm going to browse my firmware now here, mine is 3.1.2 and I'm going to click open and then it'll be verifying. So while it's, it, the verification shouldn't take more than three, more than two minutes, maximum two minutes. So I think now it's verified. Okay, so it detected that it is an iPod Touch 2G 3.1.2 firmware. Now it says IPSW verified, click next to continue. And now it says click start when you are ready to make your IPSW. Now I'm going to click start. And it will be extracting resources. While it's creating, you'll have uh, many, many, many uh, pop-ups, especially on Vista, not XP. Vista says allow or cancel. Every time it pops up, click allow. Every time allow. And I'm going to wait for one to pop up just to give you a quick sneak peek. And on Windows XP, it'll just work. Don't worry. So, you so there. You click on Allow. This will pop up like at least seven times. You know this is in beta, so they'll fix that. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, now it's creating IPSW. Um, I decided to give you a quick look on the end part of creating the... IPSW and I won't pause until this is created. So what is basically now adding Cydia, uh, Snowbreeze boot logo and Poning and Snowbreeze app and it's basically the simple mode. So uh, it'll be doing it right now. Rock will be there. Now the pwned will walk really slowly to the firmware as if it's actually pwning it. So you can see my mouse following and now it's in. So it's done. Snowbreeze seems to have successfully created your IPSW. This, fi this file will be located on your desktop. And a, and a cool check mark, it says click next to return to the home screen. Basically you're done with Snowbreeze. And now you exit out of Snowbreeze and you connect your iPod Touch. No, don't connect it. Turn off your iPod and click the home button and then connect it. Wait for the connect to iTunes uh, logo and then restore it using the firmware that my, my, where the mouse is on. The one that is called Snowbreeze and your iPod Touch uh, 2G. Y you can just subscribe if you like. I would really love it. Thank you.